Welcome to this week's TGOS. Please like and subscribe. This week, we complete the book of Breshit, the book of Genesis, as we read the Parsha of Vayechi. In the Parsha of Vayechi, we are introduced to the blessing that parents give their sons on Friday night. Yisimcha Elohim ke'ephraim v'chimin May God bless you as God blessed Ephraim and Menashe. This is in this week's Torah portion. For daughters, we do say, Yisimech Elohim ke'sara rivka Rachel v'leah. God make you as Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. I think it's pretty clear why we say Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. But the question comes up, why Ephraim and Menashe? Ephraim and Menashe are the grandchildren of Jacob. And one of the commentators teaches us that the reason that Ephraim and Menashe are chosen, because they are the first Hebrews, the first Jews who lived in a foreign land and had to continue their Judaism. And I think it's a real challenge for our young people and for all of us to be living in a foreign land and to continue to maintain our Judaism. And so Ephraim and Menashe really are a model for us to be able to live in a foreign land, but to continue to maintain our Jewish identity. And this is particularly appropriate for this week as uh, Leslie and I uh, welcomed our new granddaughter, and Nessia Kineret Kornsgold, born to Noam and Gavi. And although uh, Noam and Gavi have had the opportunity to recite the blessing for the sons for Shemaya, this week they'll have the opportunity for the first time to bless Nessia Kineret with the special blessing for daughters, and I hope that you will bless your children this Friday night and all Friday nights as well. Services this Friday begin at 6 p.m. Shabbat morning services commence at 9.30 a.m. Also a reminder, in addition to our regular services this Monday morning, New Year's Day, we'll have a minyan at 8.45 a.m. I hope you'll be there and I hope you'll help us make a minyan. Shabbat Shalom.